Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. Now, the hard mode difficulty for the new Kings Kingsfall raid launched today and I have successfully come out the other side and lived to tell the tale. As to be expected, hard mode is harder than normal mode and there are some new mechanics to deal with. So to help you out, I am once again back with another series of boss guides and I'll be doing one for each of the four bosses. But I'm going to start with Oryx as it seems like the one that is causing people most trouble. If you guys do find this helpful, then a like would be super appreciated and be sure to share this with your friends if they need help too. Now, to begin with, I am going to assume that if you're doing hard mode, you have at least done normal mode. I will recap the mechanics, but if you do want a detailed breakdown of the normal mode mechanics, then I'll link that in the description box down below. So to begin with, let's talk about team setup. In this fight, one of your team members will be your designated taken runner. That's me in this case. They will be responsible for traversing the platforms whilst torn between dimensions, grabbing the brand, stealing the brand from the vessel, and of course positioning the brand of immortality to keep your team alive. Then, four of your fire team will be assigned to the four platforms, and when necessary, they will jump on them in the correct order to form the platforms for the runner, whilst also dealing with the Light Eater Ogres. However, this is where things change in hard mode and get a little bit tricky. See, as well as an Ogre spawning per platform, there is also a corresponding Knight that spawns called a Light Eater Knight. As you know, killing the Light Eater Ogres causes a Corrupted Light to spawn, and these are what you use to deal damage to Oryx. Well, the corresponding Light Eater Knights will consume those Corrupted Lights if you leave them to roam free. Basically the same thing that the Vessel of Oryx does, only this time there are four Knights and a Vessel. And if one of those is left standing, then they will consume one or more of these Corrupted Lights, in turn detracting from the damage you can do to Oryx. So the four team members that own their respective platforms not only need to deal with the Ogres, but also the Knights. And then as for your sixth fire team member, they are your DPS king. They are the ones that will jump around helping everyone out with their respective ogres and knights and clearing out adds as and when they need to. And once you're on top of this, the fight actually remains largely the same, albeit with stronger enemies this time round. So with that in mind, here's how the fight should go. You spawn in and you walk towards the end of the stage to summon Oryx. You then clear out the adds and the knights to begin with, and then Oryx will move to one of the front two platforms. Once he slams his hand down, the taken runner jumps up, that's me, and the other two teammates jump up on their platforms counterclockwise. Contrary to what I said in my original guide, you only actually need three people on platforms, the fourth can be mobile and again help with DPS. So this first time, for example, we started front left, so the order is front left, back left, back right. The runner then works their way across the platforms to grab the brand. Meanwhile, the platform owners are dealing with the ogres and the knights. Once this is happening, the runner should have the brand, they then run down to the Vessel of Oryx, press X or Square to steal the brand, and then you burn down the vessel whilst moving near to Oryx. With all that clear, everyone groups up inside the bubble and waits for Oryx's chest to open. Now again, if your light is a little bit low here, I would recommend moving closer to Oryx. So for example, if you are below 310 light, definitely make sure you get close. It makes things a hell of a lot easier, and it'll just help you make him flinch. Once his chest opens up, again you have to shoot it and make him flinch to stop him from performing his move that will wipe out the team. Once you make him flinch, everyone needs to move to their respective Corrupted Lights, whilst the Brand Claimer and the DPS stay in the middle and clear ads to stop the other guys getting shot. Once you set up the orbs, everyone groups up in the bubble, they then detonate, you shoot Oryx in the chest, and you then watch as the damage kicks in. Assuming you detonated all four lights, then that'll be a quarter of Oryx's health down. Now again, the first phase, just like in normal, is the running phase. So you sprint around in circles to stop Oryx killing you with the light explosions, and once it's done, you return to your positions and repeat the process. If after your second wave of explosions he is on half health, i.e. you've done another 4 orbs, then he'll switch to the Taken Bubble phase. This is where he teleports you inside the dome and you have to kill the Shade of Oryx. Once again, being hard mode is a little bit stronger, he has a bit more health, but the principle is identical. Kill the Shade in time, or you wipe. And anyone outside the bubble, make sure you shoot the Thrall to stop them from going inside. Survive this wave, and you simply repeat the process till he appears to be dead. But once again, do not forget that when you think Oryx is dead, he's not actually dead. He'll come back for one final last ditch attempt, so you simply need to make him flinch again, and you're done. And that's it. That is how you defeat Oryx in the hard mode in King's Fall Raid. If you can detonate all four orbs all four times, then you can do this in four rotations. The knights do make things a lot harder, but if your team is all around 310 light, then you should be alright. Carry your high impact sniper rifles, heavy weapons, and work together to team shoot enemies, and they shouldn't be too difficult to take down. If you guys do have any questions, then of course let me know down below. But aside from that, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this helped you out. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already for much more Destiny content. And of course stay tuned for the remaining boss guides. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.